they they bringing me around in circle, 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 circle. About, about story time, story time. Let me tell you about a story, no? Story time, hey, story time. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, guys. Don't forget to like up the video, guys. Share up the video, guys. Subscribe to Life with Kimiko. Turn on your notification bell so you won't miss a upload from me. Turn it on now. Turn it on now. Yes, turn your notification bell. Comment down below if you can. Say hi to me in the comment section. Alright, guys, let's get into the video. So, guys, claim up. If you have State Farm insurance, as the title said down below, then you need to hear this. So, guys, I was driving around and all of a sudden with me and mommy, and my I got a flat tire. So I reached out to roadside assistant by State Farm, and you know they asked me if I have a spare tire. I said yes. Um, and all of those information they said that they're gonna send somebody over all right so the guy who came to put on the spare tire for me he came so while he was putting on the spare tire he was actually putting here into the spare tire so he said no that the hair is not um the tire is not holding any hair in it so i guess i have a He's trying to say that um, the tire is not good. Anyways, so he told me um, to go back on State Farm app and tell him that I need a tow truck. Guys, here comes the problem. I went back on the app. I scheduled. I told them what happened. They asked me if the guy came to fix the flat tire. I said yes. And I tell them, give them further more information on what is going on at the moment. So I told them that I need a tow truck. All right, they said they're going to send the tow truck. It's going to take sixty minutes, guys. This is from eight o'clock in the morning. It happened eight o'clock Saturday morning. All right. So I'm like, okay, sixty minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm at a safe location. They asked me if I'm. Someone called me during the 60 minutes. Someone called me and asked me, um, "Am I safe?" So I said, "Yes, I'm safe." And um, they asked me more information, the same information over again. All right. So I gave them the information and everything. He is going to um, ask me where I'm at. So I shared my location. Remember, you know, when you do the roadside assistant, they ask you to share your location. So I shared my location with the person, with, with them, with State Farm. Sorry guys, the Jamaican is coming out. So after I do all of that with this second guy who called, he said I have to wait for the next 40 minutes for somebody to come. So I said, okay, then it reached to nine o'clock. I called them again, let them know that. Guys, you're gonna see how much time I called them. I'm gonna put it right here. I've been calling them from eight. Wait. So I called them again and let them know, hey, the tow truck is not here. What's to hold up? So then the person got asked me again, are you safe? So I said, yes, I'm safe. Someone then. If um they because if they're crazy because I'm saying to them this one called me asking me if I'm safe I give you about give me my information this one is calling me asking me if I'm safe again and I give them my information the same information over and over and over and over so I'm getting frustrated so um it reached around ten o'clock still nobody I don't see nobody all right then um my mom was like why don't you use aa you know and thing so i said no man they said they're on their way disobedient <laughs> i said no man they said that they're on their way because i didn't want to reach out to aa roadside assistant and then state farm come on the scene if you know what i mean i don't want the two of them there confusion conflict 
all kind of negative energy i didn't want to happen right there so i said okay they said that they're coming they're coming so put a pin they are using my location right they are supposed to be using my location to track me right so i said to myself let me go on the app because i can track um my case on state farm track if you have state farm you know what i mean you can track it on the app so i said all right let me see where um the location that they put they put the wrong location and that location that they put <laughs> guys i have to laugh when i checked it i immediately called state farm and tell them that they have the wrong address all right so they're saying that um they have two address in so i said what do you mean by you have two address in you have to track from my phone i the app asked me to share my location with you guys i share it so how oh, you end up having two locations i don't understand that do you understand i don't anyway so i said to them all right well the name of the location i said all right b is where i'm at b is where i'm at all right so um they said okay remember guys mommy is with me and mommy have work at 2 30 to go to on saturday so she's with me and it's reached 10 30 nobody coming then it reached 11 o'clock nobody 11 30 one o'clock one o'clock nobody come to so i said wait a minute it's so two o'clock so i make up my mind and i call aa and when i make up my mind and call aa not even not even not even a minute i see aa pulling up the tow truck coming for Kimiko. So as I'm saying, and I call State Farm before I call AA a lot of times. The last time I called them was at 224. You guys gonna see. It. And the reason why I called them at 224 to let them know that their tow truck did not come and that they have to embrace me. Because I used somebody else to pick me up that they are supposed to be the one to pick me up. Right? They didn't answer. It got beep. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to call them again. Can you imagine I'm paying for full coverage, full coverage, car insurance. And you could have come for me. State Farm. You could have come for me. And when you need your, when your bills need to pay, you see how much, how much, um, let me see me have one here, so how much state farm my address not sure how much state farm bill come in the mail before is it before your your bill due but when i need you to come and rescue me i'm in trouble you take forever to come really i was i was like oh my god the guy came so quick to put on the spare tire and everything so you know girl girl in a good mood when she see that um the guy came to fix to put on my spare tire but then after he left and i reached out to you for a tow truck if i didn't have a tow truck as what mommy said you could have let us know so that we can do our business and guys they're they're bringing me around in circle 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 about five person call my phone asking me are you safe a guy call me then the next lady call me next five minutes then they send this message up they say i must put what n so i put n if if they don't come and see whatever whatever and nobody came i've been sitting out there from eight o'clock the guy leave around 8 30 and then i reach out to you guys you tell me 60 minutes i waited then i see somebody call me and then somebody telling me this carry me around in circles i did not like that because I, I i said to myself what if it was night and i was in a dangerous environment you know i'm a single lady so what if i was what if mommy was there and i was traveling by myself you have my friends worried my uncle bobby worried my mother in the car miserable telling me to call aa and i'm like but i pay for stay far they're supposed to come for me because they tell me this full coverage 
And I'm like, are you serious? I sit there for so long. So long. So long. That's, that's a working hour that I sit there so long. So I said, was you, you know, when you're stubborn and disobedient, hard they did. Because I'm like, no, mommy, I don't want when I caught, because that happened to me before. When I, when I never used to drive, I took the cab. And when you call the cab, and I'm like, you know what, this cab guy is taking long. And I call another cab, they meet up the same time. And there was conflict, you know. So what, when, when I saw that, I just don't look at the other guy and <laughs> go to the guy that I call first. <laughs> you know, so I did not want that to happen because that, that always happened to me. Whenever I, I was driving, I normally call the cab and I get so impatient that I call three cabs and sometimes the two, two different company meet up at my door. Thank God it's an apartment. So all I do is and going to the one that I call first, you know, but that's what I did not want to happen to me. So, moral of the story is that was my first bad experience with State Farm. For for somebody who paid for full coverage and expect you to show up for me, like what you always say in a commercial, State Farm, your neighbor, something like that. Well, you guys were not my neighbor that day. I don't know what I did to you, but you guys were not my neighbor that day. So guys, if you have experience with State Farm, any form of car insurance and road, roadside assistant that they are supposed to pick you up and they didn't come, either you run out of gas, flat tire, battery died, but this is my first bad experience. And would I use them again for road ex roadside assistant? Eh, no, I wouldn't. Maybe if, 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 if uh, no, because <laughs> I wouldn't want to be um leave out there stranded. So that's my experience, and that was a really bad experience because that day rain was falling. It was a lot of rain, and then guys, I have to tell you something too. Um, because they said that um, the tow truck cannot carry passengers, so I had to let mommy drove all took a cab. She called a cab where I was, and the cab came, and she had to go home and picked up her car to come back in case of the tow truck come, that I would have the have a ride to carry me to wherever they're going wherever mechanic they were going to um, bring my car to so we were ready and plus my mother do not like to drive in bad weather not her thing you have some ladies like that they don't drive into when it's snowing even if it's a little you know snow drop that you know big snow drop she won't drive in that or hard hard rain and that day it was a hard hard rain and i didn't want to leave the car and she's there and they ask her for license and registration for the car and car insurance and all those things and then they realize it's not her she's not the owner for the car and all kind of um chaos chaosity so i just told her to go and she went for her car and guys, I thought maybe when mommy go for her car and come back, they will be, they will be here. State Farm, do better. Do better to your loyal customers. These are your customers that depend on you. When you guys are advertising your commercial and when we come into the office, want to join your insurance, you tell us, oh, we are safe. We are safe. And if you have full coverage, we could... We could find you anywhere you are, where you're stranded or anything. And you didn't show up for me. I'm 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 very I'm very hurt. Because they didn't show up for me that day. You know what I'm saying? What I need you the most. So any guys, if you guys have experienced any form of roadside, um your roadside assistant did not show up for you, like me comment it down below 
And guys, if you like story time, comment it down below so we can do another story time. Story time. See you guys in the next one. Bye.